we now go into game number two in the series. Alice versus Czech. Czech spawning as the blue night elf on the bottom left hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Alice spawning as the purple night elf on the top right. I believe they switch positions. You guys probably remember better as I did take a little bit of a break. We are on last refuge. There are no fountains on this map. So we'll see how these players play. Game number one in this series was extremely even as you guys saw. And with that, it was pretty much just a coin flip on who was going to win. We'll see if that is the case in game number two. Small advantages do eventually become large ones if you're able to capitalize and push on them. Let's go ahead and slow things down just a bit. We are going to be looking at an Ancient of War tanking this 3-3-3 creep camp. Meanwhile, Czech being much more aggressive using the Ancient of War to try and um, tank out this Goblin Merchant Shop. Goblin Merchant Shop is very difficult to uh, tank out. A second Wisp will be brought over to try and repair. A third Wisp currently on standby. Nope, now being brought over to repair as well as the Demon Hunter finally shows up to the party and will be finishing off the Ogre Magi. This is gonna... Oh, wait, wait, who's gonna take it down? Oh, Alice almost getting the Mana Burn for the steal right there as we are now looking at a wand of mana stealing coming in from check. Demon Hunter now looking to back away. Wand of mana stealing, not really that useful of an item. Uh, oh, who's going to take that? Oh, Alice actually stole the experience right there. There was a mana burn right there. And though another mana burn for 10, not going to be very, very useful at all. Wand of mana stealing, perhaps the most useless item in a Demon Hunter versus Demon Hunter mirror match. All right, Alice already stealing a bit of experience. We'll see what's going to happen here as the Demon Hunter now trying to save a Wisp. This one Archer going to have a little bit of problems as the Demon Hunter now going after some other units. Wow. All right, it looks like the Archer may get one kill. Yes, gets one kill off over there. No detonation in time. And it looks as though Alice is in some serious, serious trouble as we now see a Tome of Agility plus two and level two on that Demon Hunter. Talk. Wait, wait, wait. What, what happened over here? Did he purposely... He purposely killed himself off to the north so that he could just resurrect instead of using moon wells. Interesting, interesting choice. Yes, it is a level one healer. Yes, you also deny experience and you also save a bit of gold. That's something that I would have not have thought of. So a very risky play right there. But then again, only a level one hero does resurrect very quickly as we now are moving across the four minute mark in this game. Let's take a look. Tree of Ages being teched in by Alice. Meanwhile, Czech um, a little bit behind there, also teching. We can see that Czech is going to go ahead and get to, um, or continue to creep, get it a little bit more of advantage, picking up a Wand of Illusion, a very useful item, as we now see an Illusion Demon Hunter coming around. All right, Demon Hunter, is he going to try and mana burn? Yes, he is going to end up mana burning that Illusion, pretty much realizing that it is fake. Uh, he's still going to go ahead and finish it off just because he knows that it doesn't really matter anyways. Oh, there. Wow. You can actually miss against an illusion demon hunter. I never thought that it actually could dodge attacks. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue moving on our merry way. A replenishment potion um, being dropped right there. That is going to help or be very, very helpful if you want to try and save some of that moon well juice. It is about halfway through, so you may just want to drink some up just so it doesn't cap off. Um, I would have actually taken that center moon well right there. Since it is so close to being absolutely full. Oh, wow. The detonation clearing out some of that mana once more. All right. Circuit of Nobility cleared out this one. This one is um, going to be near full capacity as we are now moving right along. A Wisp hiding um, amongst another Wisp right there. Meanwhile, Demon Hunter comes in for a mana burn onto the Ogre Magi. And it looks like Alice wanting to get some stronger items. Double Circuits of Nobility does make that demon hunter very very strong so far but we'll see if that's gonna be enough as we see a potion of greater mana that's actually a, a, an item that can backfire in your face if you're not careful as the demon hunter now down to 70 hit points and needs to run all the way back home that is going to be a very very devastating blow draining many of those moon wells but using the circlet of nobility trick able to drop them all off and now continue to look very very good all right Demon Hunter moving around here. 
We'll see. Will he? Will they'll be going? Check picking up a Naga Sea Witch. So the Naga Sea Witch is going to want to try and put pressure on here very, very shortly. Boots of Speed being transferred to that Naga Sea Witch already off the bat, and that Naga Sea Witch will be able to chase down units with those cold arrows much more efficiently. The big question is whether or not the Naga Sea Witch will be able to press fast enough as we are looking at Alice going the long route with that Keeper of the Grove. Demon Hunter Illusion keeping track of units over here. You're going to see the units now making their way over. Damage is being dealt and wow, talk about an illusion making a very big difference there. Mana burn on both sides and oh, what are we going to be looking at? Naga Sea Witch entangle as a Demon Hunter now getting another mana burn in, another mana burn, a 100-point mana burn coming through. And is that going to be enough? The Demon Hunter does have enough mana to mana burn. Does he take him down? Yes, he does. A 100-point mana burn finishing off his opponent right there. And the level 2 Demon Hunter falls. Keeper of the Grove now being forced to retreat back without the Demon Hunter. The, d the damage coming in from Alice's army is going to fall off significantly. Now the big question is, can Czech actually capitalize on the loss of the Demon Hunter? Can he make something happen during this time? Make his opponent punish for losing that Demon Hunter in such a haphazard fashion? Meanwhile, Czech now coming in with a, a Naga Sea Witch once more. Let's go ahead and go straight after the units. Goblin Shredder being added here as well. Going after that Troll High Priest, making sure that there isn't too much inner fire across multiple units. Down goes another Ogre Magi. Healthstone now picked up. A very useful item indeed for that Demon Hunter. It's a ring, it's half a ring of regeneration and a full potion of greater healing. One of the best items in the game, and in my humble, humble opinion. As now, wait, the Ogre Mauler not going after that Ancient of War for some crazy, crazy reason. All right, Keeper of the Grove having to be very careful. Does get to level two, picks up Robe of Magi, now up to 390 mana. That would be normally a good thing, except for the simple fact that the Demon Hunter is at already at level three and may even get to level five if this game goes too long. 150 point mana burn will deplete the mana off of that Keeper of the Grove from maybe four entangles down to two or one if he is not careful. Demon Hunter using that last illusion to try and clear out this creep camp here. Let's go ahead and go for it. Oh, there is, is the boulder and very nicely done knowing that his up, knowing that the AI would purposely stun the first target it could attack and that target would was the Demon Hunter there allowing this illusion to tank a bit more damage. All right, let's go ahead and continue this fight here. Demon Hunter still in a little bit of trouble. Uh, gonna go ahead and finish off some of the remaining units. No Troll Shadow Priest being picked up. I do believe that means that we are going to have a trip back to the Town Hall. And now we are use some of that Moonwell Juice once again. Come on, drop the Circle of Nobility, drink it back up, and now put that nicely little Tiara back on your head. Drew to the Claw could easily rejuvenate this Demon Hunter once he gets nearby, but I don't believe he's going to do that. Doesn't really need to. Naga Sea Witch seeing that level 2, and I like how Czech's Naga Sea Witch is not auto-casting those Frost Arrows on the creep. Um, all too often you see the Naga Sea Witch just toggled with those Frost Arrows, making that Naga Sea Witch just lose far much more mana than you would normally assume. All right, Naga Sea Witch may have level 2 Cold Arrows now, or level 2 Fork Lightning. Very hard to tell the difference as we are looking at the Naga Sea Witch now doing a little bit of chase. All right, there is some Cold... No, no Cold Arrows. Um, a bit of a shock right there. No Cold Arrows. There's a Fork Lightning there as the arrows are coming... No, the, no, it's not even using Cold Arrows at all. There we go. Finally turning around and using those Cold Arrows. Ogre Magi taking a bit of damage. It's going to get taken out pretty easily. There it goes. What item was dropped, I can't really tell. Um, maybe it gloves of haste. That seems rather low. Um, yeah, rather low for uh, Ogre Magi drop unless... Oh, the Ogre Lord was the one that dropped the item and he was already felled. Alice still seen at level 3, but he does have a level 3 Keeper of the Grove. Check with the level 3 Naga Sea Witch. Yes, Alice has lost or did lose his Demon Hunter earlier, but he is playing the long game, and that's actually going to help out tremendously. Also, we do have Brilliance Aura on the Keeper of the Grove, meaning that the Druids of the Claw are going to have a lot more mana ready to go. Even in their bear form, 
they will be able to come out of that bear form and rejuvenate, heal back up a lot more. And this may actually be what Alice needs. Both players thinking the same exact thing. Zeppelin play, except Czech is a, just a little bit faster with the Zeppelin play. All right, Squirrel of Town Portal needs to head back home. Why isn't he doing it? No, he is not doing that there as the Dryad's now in a little bit of trouble. Alice going to end up losing that gold mine, and down it goes. No more mining coming in whatsoever. All right, in comes the Mana Burn. The Zeppelin is still overhead here, and this is just a fight in a corner as the Demon Hunter is in serious trouble. There's the Roar, and there's the Surround. Check is in serious, serious disbelief as he loses his Demon Hunter at level 4. The Keeper of the Grove now, may try and stick around here. There is a handful of bears nearby ready to go as well. You can see the Brilliant Aura, how important that is. Goblin Zeppelin overhead keeps track of this army and says, you know what? I am not landing there whatsoever. Uh, yeah, negative Ghost Rider. The pattern is full. I'm just going to do a quick, quick flyby and hopefully get the heck out of here. All right, Zeppelin making sure that there is nothing nothing here at all meanwhile demon hunter now finishing off a, a little troll trapper off in the corner and we'll see what's going to become of here all right let's take a look at this keeper of the grove and dryads able to pick off this goblin or pick off some damage onto the goblin zeppelin if a hippogriff was over here and actually was able to pick off the hob uh, the goblin zeppelin that would have been hilarious as the goblin zeppelin now tr trying to make its way back over all right i don't see any real way to train a uh, hippogriff no ancients of wind at all meanwhile demon hunter now running all the way back you can see there's a wisp right over here dryads now dropping are we gonna see some detonations no detonation as a entangled now coming in all right there is an abolish magic units are now fighting back entangled gold mine suffering a lot of damage the gold mine may end up getting destroyed once more and that is going to really put a put a slowdown on the mining efforts once again all right staff of preservation saves the zeppelin and now check able to scroll of town portal all the way back alice once more not mining any gold 4600 gold compared to 5600 gold that's about 90 seconds worth of my or almost two minutes worth of mining difference after this entangled gold mine is rebuilt this is going to continue to hurt his opponent as we're talking about three to four bears here, 56 over 70 now compared to 50 over 50. Alice needs to get some additional gold somehow and may look for it in the pockets of some creeps. Ogre Lord gonna get pulled and uh, pulled away here. It looks as though, yes, it's gonna get pulled away here. Bears are all in position. There is the entangle as the Ogre Lord currently, currently in a little bit of trouble. Goblin Zeppelin overhead and Helm of Valor. But here we go from the other side. Demon Hunter is right nearby. And wow, eating your way through the forest, able to come inside here and cause a bit of problems. All right, Ogre Magi. Oh, Fork Lightning and followed by a Staff of Preservation. Oh, Goblin Zeppelin getting, picking up a unit and now a Scroll of Town Portal saving the unit there. However, the Helm of Valor did end up going to Alice. But the majority of the experience will end up in the hands of Czech. Demon Hunter sitting at 4. Naga, Naga Siwich sitting at 3. Still though, the, the Keeper of the Grove does have um, that very, very important uh, Thorns Aura. And that Thorns Aura could be the difference. Still too hard to say who's going to come out on top here. Druids of the Claw now making their rounds going to perhaps do a little bit of a push supply count 65 over 70 uh, compared to 49 over 50 the gold mine once now mining 5200 compared to 3600 a difference of about 1600 gold um that's almost what two and a half almost three minutes in terms of mining time lost all right don't forget though, Czech also is in low upkeep, meaning he does have a larger army. And here we go. There is now a big drop into Czech's base. Is it going to make a big difference? All right, Tree of Eternity now trying to fight back the, the sea of units here. And it looks like Czech's army is just pretty much going to go unchallenged. So far, are we going to see a Scroll of Town Portal? Demon Hunter does not have one. 
So it is now going to turn into a base race. All right, who's going to win out uh, in, in the end? You can see that there's a wisp off over here. Do we have enough gold to build anything? No, we don't have enough gold to actually entangle or build another tree of life. That could actually hurt them in the end. As you can see now, both sides just doing a lot of damage to each other. Remaining time to reveal. That is a very, very big deal. This is going to turn into a, a base race for the ages as the demon hunter now trying to finish off the moon wells taking down all of those key key structural buildings and also now check building an ancient of war nearby just to make sure that he has one at least one building all right 113 gold all you can really build after that is an ancient of wonders this demon ancient of war now getting attacked this is gonna hurt a lot he cannot be forced to cancel it demon hunter now trying to make its way over it looks like this demon hunter is taking a bit of damage no cold arrows coming in from the naga sea witch as this ancient of war suffered a little bit of damage and will have to uproot himself and eat some trees down over here alice does have a base ready to go and that is going to be much more difficult to spot since it is not or it is a tree of life, meaning that it is not going to be revealed. The Ancient of War and any of the remaining buildings are going to be revealed by check and check with an Ancient of Wonders and Ancient of War. Those are the last two things that he can really do. Perhaps he can try to clear out um, the gold mine or clear out some of the creep camps here to get into... Uh, get it back up to 300 gold, but that seems very, very unlikely as a goblin shredder cannot be repaired. This goblin shredder from Czech is actually a very big liability. All right, goblin zeppelin overhead looking to drop off units. One tree of life hidden down over here. Perhaps should be hide, hiding all the way back off over here. As you can see, the demon hunter now coming back over. All right, demon hunter going after this ancient of war. There's a tree of wonders over here. And this ancient of war trying to get in position, trying to hide. And it looks like Czech is going to end up losing. Czech losing this ancient of war and losing that. Does he have another one? Oh, he has another ancient of wonders down over here. Czech with one ancient of wonders and one ancient of wonders only needs to get everything over there and in a hurry oh this is going to be extremely close are there any wisp nearby there's a wisp there i don't think there's any wisp at all for to even mine here by alice all right so alice in a little bit of trouble here you can see the fighting now going on check now down over here are we going to see some bears drop yes bears now dropping on the check's last building wait was there another one? Oh, good gosh where is it down over here all right a tree wait when did check get a tree of life Okay, I'm not quite sure when he got that Tree of Life. I did not think he had that gold, but the Demon Hunter at level 5 fell. I am trying to keep track of everything right now. My apologies. Now down over here, three bears going after um, last of Alice's base, and I think that is going to be it. The Tree of Life going to fall, and now Alice is going to leave, and oh, check loses game number two. Alice wins, and I could not predict that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs>